see why did I leave Ethiopia in such a hurry or why did I leave Ethiopia so urgently. I was denied a visa. I fight for Ethiopia in ways I'm like, do you even fight for Kenya like this? How easy was it for me to move or how easy is it for someone to move to Ethiopia? Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Queen Desta and I am a Kenyan who loves to explore the world, to live in different countries, to see different things and just live an ignited life. Today, I'm bringing you on another episode of Buna with Desta, but in this case, I am the host and I am the guest. We are chasing on my coffee. Anyway, this episode, you're going to be answering the most asked question ever since I made the announcement that I've moved out of Ethiopia. This is my most asked question on why I moved to Ethiopia. I do feel the need to also come here and tell you guys why I moved out of Ethiopia. I'm sorry, apologies that the response or the answer took longer than I also expected. It was not intentional for me to take such a long time before I keep you on the know on why I left Ethiopia, why I moved out of Ethiopia. Uh, just necessarily because I told you why I am moving into Ethiopia and now I should also tell you why I am moving I moved out of Ethiopia so I have like let's say four or five reasons that we'll evaluate in the course of this video but in the meantime please remember to hit the like button subscribe to this channel and let's get into it now we can't talk about why I left Ethiopia without giving you a context so on where I even moved to, why I even moved to Ethiopia. So initially it was based on, uh, I used to be a backpacker, like a full-time one backpacker traveling different countries full-time. But then we decided, you know what, because of the inconveniences that majorly came because of COVID, as well as me desiring to establish my need to stay in one place for an extended time, we established the best place for me to stay was Ethiopia. And uh, we did move in Ethiopia in 20, officially moved in Ethiopia in 2021, January. And we stayed there the whole of, did I move 2021 or 2022? Ah, okay. So officially we moved into Ethiopia in 2022 with the goal of trying to live in one place for an extended time. And we did well, we did well. I got to experience Ethiopia in all its seasons, the sunny seasons, the rainy seasons, all this good stuff, you know, in the midst of all the conflicts, the war, the peace, everything, you mentioned it. It was an adventure. I loved it, met people, enjoyed, became Ethiopian, got an Ethiopian name, all this good stuff. Ah, But I love to look at my life as seasons. So when we get to the first reason why I moved out of Ethiopia, I love to look at my life as seasons. So we were in the season of traveling. Then we came to the season of trying to see if I can live in one place. Because basically, since I finished school, I've never stayed in one place. Staying in Ethiopia was one of my first time to stay in one place without necessarily, like for example, staying three months full on in Addis Ababa. So I wanted to challenge myself to see if I, I have I have the abilities to go to different places, what people say, risk or dangerous or stuff like this. I, I have that comes easy to me but this concept of settling down does not necessarily come easy to me so that's what we were putting ourselves to test so because of this i was in the season of staying in one place for an extended time and we actually established in the year 2022 that actually queen Desta can do it tick amazing you know so established on staying there the whole of 2023 but I guess God had other plans. One of the things that I was not keen to experience this season was the continuous rainy season that happens in Ethiopia. And uh, I knew somehow I wanted to travel within June and July because that's when it really rains continuous in Ethiopia or according to how I experienced it the previous year. So I was keen not to spend the last time there. But then with my evaluation and seeing I'm getting back to the need of not necessarily putting myself in that scenario of being in Ethiopia as my constant place. So that was basically one of the reasons, an end of a season, you know. Then that brings me to the second season. <laughs> Your girl over here decided let's try and explore our different sides of life, which entails not my own life but also life with other people having a say in my life in that case i mean a partner so in that reference uh this person is not from my country i found the need to be i have understood my country 
for me to be able to introduce them to my country. But I can only do that if I have stayed, spent time in my own country, established what works in terms of businesses, investment, my career, you know, all these things before I finally make a final decision of where I want to move. So I would put this as the second reason to say I'm still on a hunt on which country I would want to settle down in because I guess people continue telling me about the whole idea of settling down. So there's no other better option for me to also come and establish can I actually stay in Kenya for an extended long time and i know by now you're already asking yourself is this now the new decision that i'm gonna be staying in kenya before the end of this video i'm gonna give you how my life kind of looks like and it's panning out to be yeah my third reason was found an opportunity for my sister so my sister actually Erinjo Kijenga, it was gonna be in a vlog that is coming to you soon. She did actually move to Ethiopia. So if you watch my videos, you know she came to visit me last year around November, December. She liked it and we found it is better if we could do like a swap. So basically, I am no longer in Ethiopia, but my sister is in Ethiopia. And somehow that makes me feel like I'm somehow still in Ethiopia because my bloodline... <laughs> Is still in the country and that's what i was saying for anyone willing to invite me for lunch please do it on on behalf of my sister if you're inviting me for movies she'll be glad to represent me on all these good things you guys have watched time you know the vibe is real no much difference just that we are sisters you come on anyway yeah so whew, yes my sister did move to ethiopia and uh, it just makes sense for one sibling to be there as others are exploring other different places on that note i also have to say to a response of a question that someone was concerned on especially on the day that i did the video of i have moved out of ethiopia and uh, the person was concerned that i was it was not just one person like several people that i was denied a visa that is actually not true at no point have I had any visa issues to do with Ethiopia and the immigration system, which I am forever grateful. And uh, the other one has to be, the other concept that was said that is not necessarily true was, I did not find someone to marry me. Actually, that's not true. Uh, and I was never ever moving to Ethiopia to find someone to marry me also, to clarify that. Then what else? Uh, another reason why I have moved out of Ethiopia is so we can get back to more content and be open up to learning more about different places, different countries. Basically, let's just say new season for my life, new season for Queen Desta, new season for this community, and also to open up to any person that follows my channel to explore more. I also got people being like, get back to full-time travel like you used to be before. I can't promise that is where we are getting into, but with time, basically, We'll be able to establish currently we are operating on two things living figuring out kenya and uh, a little bit of back to backpacking africa or any country that i get a chance to visit anytime i travel to a new country i still love traveling i still enjoy traveling traveling will always be part of what i do somehow in whatever way but we will see you know this life we keep opening new chapters in our lives and stuff like that so I don't know, do I have another reason why I left Ethiopia? Let me also say there was a little, just a very minor concern about the safety aspect of Ethiopia that I felt uh, <clears throat> not necessarily, I admired some stability in that way. Like I never always wanted to be like, can you please confirm me? Not, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad to be honest, but you know that behind your mind you have to keep thinking if it was bad i wouldn't have recommended my sister to come please come on but that constant thought of have you confirmed what was happening or someone calling you and asking you to confirm about your safety and stuff like this for example like whatever started happening around january that was another like when i was thinking the end of the other war that was happening that took long time i don't love talking about this situations political situations that keep going on but it, we cannot be ignorant of the fact that they are happening Whew. 
Okay, on the issue of safety, I want to clarify by saying that I was also affected directly as a creator and also because YouTube is my main job. And when the whole concept of internet not being as accessible and the need of continuous use of VPN started coming and it not going away, that did somehow influence my work and also make me feel like, you know what, the universe, the gods are telling you it's time because uploading and turning on VPN all the time was not sustainable. Also because I use online media to communicate to, to family. So it was just making more sense for me to be like, you know what? Yeah, finally the safety aspect has gotten to me in a way. But I also have to say, as a person, safe, safe, good to go. If this was not an inconvenient, for sure, it doesn't affect you so bad. <sighs> but to be honest with you guys, every time if you're in this whole idea of safety i'm only clarifying it because i know some of you guys are gonna come at me but to be honest when you're living in a new country or in a foreign country you have to make sure you have either a trans maybe flight ticket money put aside or uh, you have to make sure uh in case just because you don't know what could happen all that uncertainty builds up on the safety aspect i don't know if the continuation of me explaining this matter made the situation any better but this idea of safety because of this these two matters especially the internet and uh, the uncertainty made it become a little concern but other than that it's not a very big deal i still could have survived i survived when it was like way 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 bad in a q and that i have done recently someone asked me how easy was it for me to move or how easy is it for someone to move to ethiopia well, I have to say, to move to Ethiopia is not one of the easiest countries, to be honest, to move into. One, because you face language barrier. Two, if you're not open-minded in terms of the food, that is also going to be a barrier. Three, just like how they do life according to their own way, if you're used to, let's say, instant service or stuff like this, you're just going to be like a little huddle here and there. But it depends on your attitude and how open you are. So it really basically depends on your attitude more than it depends on the country, according to my opinion. And uh, I, I believe this life is a perspective. I could be enjoying this cup of coffee, of course, as I do, and another person could be disliking this cup of coffee. So it all it is all a perspective. And I also have to say whatever works for me must not necessarily work for you. And whatever works for you must not necessarily work for me. And that's why I keep telling people, it's easy for other people to settle down. For me, it's not necessarily that easy. It is just a perspective and my attitude and my way of doing life and all these other factors. I also have to say so many other things play a part. For example, what's your, where, what's your nationality? Like, where are you coming from? The other one is what visa are you coming in with? Do you have work? Are you coming to start from scratch? If you have money, moving into the office, I feel like can be very easy because now then you don't have to can live in the best places you can be eating whatever you want you can just be living the best life you know and then i also have to salute ethiopia because it is more affordable if you ask me but story for another day yeah so it all depends on your situations and your circumstances but i still wouldn't put ethiopia as in the first list of easy countries to move to especially for kenya uh, but this is because of the familiarities. There are not as many familiarities as if you are moving to, let's say, Tanzania or Uganda, if that makes sense. Yeah, but uh, another question I got. One minute, let's confirm the question. Well, I guess, the, well, there are basically why did I leave Ethiopia in such a hurry or why did I leave Ethiopia so urgently? It was timely. Maybe on YouTube it did look like currently, but it was something I kept thinking through, thinking through, especially since the beginning of this year. I already set a timeline, and as I said, we also came up with a plan for my sister to be the one moving to Ethiopia, and it just worked out so perfectly and seamless, easy, good, swift transition. Appreciated it. <laughs> Other more reason has to be... I still love Ethiopia. I have not left Ethiopia, as you could be thinking. I still love Ethiopia. I love Ethiopian food. This is a love that I will forever have. I I fight for Ethiopia in ways I'm like, do you even fight for Kenya like this? I'm just like, okay, okay. Yeah, for example, if you come around and say you don't like Ethiopian food, I'll be like, uh, yeah, this is gonna put our relationship or friendship to test. But anyway, 
maybe I picked up some Ethiopian in me. You know, if there is a country that I know, a country people that I know fight for their, for themselves, who they are as a people, has to be Ethiopians. Like if you trash, you guys have already taught me this lesson so hard. If you say anything that is unacceptable, you're going to get it right, you know. So, uh... I have be I have joined this gang, so I will forever associate myself with Ethiopia in some way, in some form. I'm happy. To, I still follow Ethiopians. I have Ethiopian friends. Basically, it's just the locality. The same way, when I was, let's say, I left Kenya, but Ethiopia remains in me. I left Ethiopia. Ethiopia is still in me. If I leave Kenya, Kenya is still in me. So Ethiopia will continue to be my second home, despite the fact that now I have moved and I am back in my country. As we figure out what life has in store. So what is the next country that we are moving into? Oh, if if life didn't have other factors, I would make my life more of let's move to different countries and see how easy or how situations get like not just traveling for a few days but like tra moving for a long time but i'm happy to have experienced that in ethiopia in a country that gives you a whole different new perspective in many ways really really appreciated that opportunity thank you so much to everyone that supported all my ethiopia content and i also have to say please continue subscribing and watching my video because we are not gonna sleep we're gonna bring more educative informative and you can you can learn about many other countries apart from just ethiopia anyway with much saying and with little or however you want to say it i really had a blast in ethiopia i'm still gonna visit it will continue to be my second home as i said and too much love continues to be too from me to you guys. Let me know in the comment section if you have more questions or you want me to clarify on something here and there. But I can't say nothing much or less about Ethiopia but love. Anyway, always, always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time, bye.